Hey and welcome to the daily Arsenal news show. Let's begin with our daily news. Gabriel shares his reaction to performance of William Saliba in Arsenal win. Gabriel Magalis has loaded William Saliba in reaction to his performance as Arsenal beat Crystal Palace in their Premier League opener on Friday in comments to the Evening Standard. Arsenal fans finally got the chance to watch Saliba in action in a competitive game for the Gunners. The Frenchman started alongside Gabriel at the heart of the back four. Ben White, meanwhile, moved out to the right back role against the Eagles. It proved to be a hugely successful evening for Saliba and Arsenal. Mikel Arteta's men won 2-0 at Selhurst Park and it was Saliba who was named man of the match. Gary Neville has since compared his display with that of a young Rio Ferdinand and it seems that his performance impressed many inside the Arsenal dressing room also. In fact, Gabriel could hardly praise the performance more. The Brazilian suggested that he loved playing alongside the 21-year-old in the game. For me, he is the best. He's very young, very promising and a very good player, he told Standard Sport. I'm so happy to play with him together. He has now started in the Premier League and he was so good. It will be very interesting to see how Arteta uses his three main centre-back this season. Obviously, they will all have plenty of opportunities to play with Arsenal competing on four fronts, but eventually, a favourite pairing is surely going to emerge. White and Gabriel did a brilliant job last season, and Arsenal spent a lot of money to bring the England international to the Emirates, but Saliba's performance was certainly a statement of intent and Arteta may well take into account which player Gabriel tends to prefer playing alongside, and there is absolutely no question that he is a big fan of Saliba after that display. Neil Warnock says Arsenal star Aaron Ramsdale has proved everyone wrong. Neil Warnock has suggested that he felt Aaron Ramsdale would be a disaster at Arsenal when the Gunners signed him last year, but he has changed his mind now. Arsenal had a lot to do last summer. Mikel Arteta spent more money than any other club in the country and his most controversial decision was to bring in Ramsdale from Sheffield United for £24 million. When rumours first surfaced that Arsenal were keen to sign Ramsdale, almost everyone was against it. The Englishman had suffered relegation in each of his previous two seasons in the Premier League and many people were of the opinion that he was not good enough for Arsenal. Warnock has suggested this week that he too felt Ramsdale would be a disaster at Arsenal. However, he has changed his mind now and has claimed that he would pick him in his England side for the World Cup in Qatar this year. Warnock told sports people while picking his England squad. To be fair to him, everybody thought it would be a disaster when he left Sheffield United, but he's done excellent at Arsenal. Almost everybody urged Arteta to not sign Ramsdale last year, but the Arsenal boss stuck to his guns and went ahead with the deal. Since making his Arsenal debut, Ramsdale has been unbelievable. He has arguably been the best English goalkeeper in the Premier League, and many believe he deserves to pip Jordan Pickford to become England's number one at the World Cup. Arteta's decision to bring Ramsdale in has definitely been justified. Many would even argue that £24 million for him is a bargain, which just shows how quickly things can change in football. Arsenal take on Leicester City in the Premier League next, and Ramsdale will once again be one of the Gunners' most important players. Arsenal man is separate to cancel his contract at the Emirates. Hector Bellerin remains keen to leave Arsenal in this transfer window as he looks to make a return to Real Betis. The fullback spent the last campaign on loan with them and he enjoyed his time. He returned to the Emirates in this campaign and has remained one of the players Arsenal wants to discard. Since he returned, he made it clear he wants to go back to Seville, but Betis don't have the money to make the move happen. But Bellerin has no interest in any other suitor and he's now pushing to terminate his contract. A report on Metro Sport claims the fullback is ready to tear up his current Arsenal deal worth £4.2 million and leave for free. He would then accept an offer that is around half of what he makes now. When a player wants to leave, it's always great to allow him to go because it could disrupt the peace in the dressing room. Leaving him out of our game against Crystal Palace is a clear sign that we don't need Bellerin. We have torn up the contracts of Mesoud Ozil and Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang in recent transfer windows and we should do the same for Bellerin to allow him to leave.
Nuno Tavares scored on his debut with Marseille. Nuno Tavares put in an impressive performance on his debut for Marseille, having joined from Arsenal on loan, scoring the second goal of the match. The Portuguese wasn't the only on loan star making his first outing for his new side, with Folar in Balogun leading the line against him, but it was the home side who came out on top winning 4-1 come the final whistle. Tavares featured as an advanced wing back on the left, where he was able to get forward on many occasions and he took his goal sweetly after cutting inside and firing in with his right. We have a good relationship with Marseille after a number of deals in recent windows and we look likely to get a lot out of this deal also, with Nuno already looking like he will be able to thrive there. The club had no intention of including an option to buy and allowing him to join Atalanta, which must mean that we believe he has the potential to play for us again in the future. But with both Kiran Tierney and Alexander Zinchenko set to battle it out for minutes this term, it may be difficult for him to break into our first team in the near future. Balogun's score on his debut too. Folaren Balogun opened his account with a debut goal against Marseille this weekend, but the Arsenal man's performance wasn't enough to help Rams to pick up any points. Le Blues had built up a 3-0 lead prior to our young forward's goal, which was taken neatly as he headed an awkward wall beyond the goalkeeper. Marseille added their fourth in injury time, but that doesn't take away from the positive and confident performance of Balogun, who could be primed for a big year of goal scoring. Balogun's lone move to Rams could be exactly what was needed to help him break the barrier between youth and senior football. Arsenal remain interested in midfielder transfer, player is waiting for developments. Arsenal remain interested in a potential transfer deal for Leicester City midfielder Yuri Tielemans. The Belgium international has impressed in his time at Leicester and has just one year left on his contract with the Foxes, making him an appealing option for top clubs in this summer's transfer window. Still, a move is yet to materialize for Tielemans and Fabrizio Romano has provided an exclusive update on the possibility of a move to Arsenal, writing for Kauf Offside via Substack. Romano explains that Arsenal remain interested but have not yet made a formal offer for Tielemans who is waiting for the next step to take place. Tielemans looks like he could be ideal for Arsenal and his contract situation also surely means he will be available for a decent fee, so this seems like one to watch in the coming weeks. An offer has not yet arrived at Leicester for Tielemans, the situation remains the same and even the player is still waiting for the next step, Romano explains. Arsenal maintain an interest in the Belgium international, but an official proposal will be needed. I must admit, I remain surprised no one has made an offer yet because I think a player like Tielemans being available for a reduced fee in the final year of his contract is an incredible opportunity for top clubs. Certainly, the departure of Lucas Torreira to Galatasaray will bring Arsenal 6 to 7 million euros plus add-ons and that can help found a new signing. Arsenal have had a strong summer so far, bringing in the likes of Gabriel Jesus, Alexander Zinchenko and Fabio Vieira. Arsenal's move for Dutch attacker complicated by World Cup. Arsenal might have to wait for another transfer window before signing their attacking target, Cody Gakbo. The Dutchman has emerged as one of their leading targets in this transfer window after his impressive form at PSV in the last campaign. The Netherlands has some of the finest players in the world and Gakbo looks set to become the next big superstar to come from them. Arsenal is not the only club eyeing a move for him and the 23-year-old has been listening to offers from other suitors as well. However, it would be hard to make him leave his present club this summer. Football London claimed that is because he wants to play in the next FIFA World Cup for his country and that will require him to play regularly at club level. This means he might decide to remain at PSV for at least the first half of this season. Gagbo is a fine player, but Arsenal is well stocked in attack and we cannot guarantee him a starting place on the team if he joins up immediately. If he insists on regular playing time, we may have to wait until the next transfer window to sign him. Key Arsenal figures have long-standing interest in winger transfer. Arsenal manager Mikel Arteta and technical director Edu have a long-standing interest in Bayer Leverkusen winger Moussa Diaby. The France international has impressed in the Bundesliga 
and it seems his performances have seen him attract admirers in the form of Arsenal and Newcastle United in recent times. That's according to Fabrizio Romano in his exclusive cult of side column, with the reporter explaining that Diaby is a long-term target for Arsenal, though he's not looking likely to move this summer, as Leverkusen are adamant they don't want to sell. The 23-year-old could undoubtedly be a fine fit for Arsenal, who could do with signing an alternative to Rafinha, who ended up moving from Leeds to Barcelona this summer. Arsenal were in for Rafinha earlier this summer and have been considering alternatives since he joined Barcelona instead, Romano wrote. Moussa Diaby has long been on Edu and Mikel Arteta's list but Bayer Leverkusen insist they don't want to sell him this summer. It has never been an easy deal. The Frenchman was also a popular target for the Newcastle board but things never progressed. Arsenal have had a good summer with the signings of Gabriel Jesus and Alexander Sinchenko in particular, but there is no doubt Arteta could do with more options in attack with someone like Diaby looking ideal to come in as an upgrade on the underperforming Nicolas Pepe. Arsenal interested in Petro Neto as Wolves close in on £27 million deal. Arsenal are understood to be interested in Pedro Neto, who may become available when Wolves announce the arrival of Gongalo Guides, according to a report from the Daily Express. The Gunners have made a positive start to the Premier League season with a win in their opener. Nevertheless, their supporters may have hoping for one or two more additions before the deadline passes, and it may well be in the final third where Arsenal hope to strengthen. The Gunners missed out on Rafinha. Meanwhile, reports have claimed that they want Cody Gakpo, but they also have their eye on one Premier League star. According to the Daily Express, Mikel Arteta's men have a long-standing interest in Neto. Interestingly, it's a claim that Wolves may have to consider selling Neto with Guides on his way to Molino in a £27 million deal. Neto would be a fantastic signing for Arsenal. He is a player with a game-changing ability, and it's almost remarkable to think that he's only 22 years old of age, given that he has already played 74 times in the Premier League. Neto was involved in Wolves' goal in their defeat to Leeds at the weekend, and there was one particular piece of skill that stunned Ellen Road and saw the youngster get away from the two Leeds player in a flash. He has previously been labelled as a sensational player, and reports have suggested in the past that Liverpool are admirers. Ruben Diaz, meanwhile, named Neto alongside Cristiano Ronaldo for the best dribbler he has seen. So, it would be a huge cup for Arsenal to strike a deal. Wolves are not going to let him go on the cheap, but if there is an opportunity to reach an agreement, the Gunners must strike. I will be uploading daily Arsenal news, so keep your eyes on the channel and don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate your support. Peace out.